friends here we are talking about rules to define variables see we are already having a basic knowledge about variables from our previous videos and here defining variable is nothing but giving some value to your variable or storing some value into your variable like this let me take simply a variable called x and let me store the value 2 into it so simply this is nothing but defining a variable and here x is a variable name and 2 is the value of it so simply the value 2 we are storing into a variable called x so while defining your variable in this way there are some rules those are very very important so here we are going to discuss about them let me go with one by one the very first one is variable name should contain only either lower or upper case alphabets 0 to 9 numbers and underscore characters other than these groups you should not consider any character in your variable name let me explain this on terminal see suppose if i want to take any variable name let's say i want to take my name then let's say i'm taking vr tech this is invalid because this is actually your variable name my name is your variable name but if you observe here in your variable name you have space do you have space in these groups no that's why it is invalid then you can take my name in this way or let me take one more variable my name in this way or else my underscore name or else my name one i can take that's it then second one is variable name should not start with a number see basically your variable name can contain a number but it should not start with a number i mean see if you observe here in my this variable uh, i have number but don't write your variable like one my name that is not a valid one then next one variable name length should be less than or equals to 20 characters so max you can have 20 characters in your variable name so if you observe here in this variable 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 characters are there so up to 20 characters you can take in your variable name but don't take more than that variable names are case sensitive means upper and lower case letters are different see suppose i can define let's say x equals to 4 and capital x equals to let's say some high now these two variables are different that is the meaning of case sensitive then next one is don't provide space on either sides of equal symbol while defining variables see if you observe here as of now whatever the variables we defined in this on either side of equal symbol we don't have any space so this is actually the perfect way to define your variables suppose if i define in this way let's say a1 equals to a2 a3 then this way of defining your variables is invalid because if you observe a1 for equal on both sides we have space a2 right side we have space a3 for equal symbol left side we have space this is invalid even if you run your shell script you will get an error let me save it and run it see that you are getting some errors here line number 9 10 11 this is invalid so if you remove those spaces while defining your variables on either side of your equal symbol now rerun you don't get any error that's it so this is the perfect way to define your variables then next one is no need to declare variable type automatically shell will take care while executing commands or scripts see suppose if you go with uh, c c++ or java there you have to declare type of your variable before going to define or use it in your scripts see suppose 
let us say if I take x equals to 6. In shell script it is possible, but if you go with a C or C++ or Java, first you have to define integer x. I am going to store integer number into my x. That is why first you have to declare like this in your C, C++ or Java in I mean in some other languages. But in shell script you do not need to do that. Just directly go and define your variable with your required value. That value uh, could be like number or string or character or some command output or some uh, path of your system. It is not a problem. That is why you do not need to declare it. Then use quotes for the data if data consists of spaces. See suppose let me take a new variable let us say my name value equals to shell scripting. Now till now whatever the variables you define in that anyway numbers do not have spaces basically but string and here for this kind of string you do not have any spaces in the value. But if you observe here this value consists of spaces whenever if you have spaces in your string then for that you have to take quotations. It may be double or single or even triple also no problem. You have to take quotations for your data whenever if you have spaces in your data then that data you have to assign to your variable in this way. Then we can store the output of a command into a variable already we know that how we can do that. Simply your variable equals to dollar parenthesis inside that your command or there is one more way using a backtick syntax. Then we can assign one variable value or data into another we already know that simply if this is one variable name then new name equals to dollar name but best practice is dollar curly braces your variable. And final one is better to avoid capital letters for your variable because we already know that basically default or system defined variables are in terms of capitals. Suppose in worst scenario if you want to take capital letters for your variables just verify it before creating or before using in your shell script. Let us say suppose I want to take my name as a variable in my script like user defined variable. So before going to use it just try to display the variable value. You are getting nothing or empty means this is not a system defined or default variable. Then you can take it or let me take one more variable. Suppose if I want to take user as my variable in my scripts directly do not take it copy it on your command line just try to display it. If you are getting some data do not consider this as your variable in your script. Instead of that you can take my user or else my user all are possible directly do not take user that is it. So these are the rules you have to remember while defining your variables very very important guys.